What's up guys, um, new quick video, uh, I've started making some decent money, uh, there's a lot of you subscribing to my channel as we're doing more and more reviews every week, there's at least one car salon review or uh, test ride, so in order to improve my channel uh, for you guys, I've decided to uh, get a new camera, I was using my iPhone 6s, now I got the iPhone 7, but I need another frame for you guys so you can have better perspective and it's going to be easier for me to transfer my videos so I wanted to keep the 4k quality and my first bigger paycheck from YouTube uh, I've decided to not spend for myself but to reinvest it in my YouTube channel for you guys so you get, get a better quality um, material from my side so uh, Without further ado, I'm gonna show you what I got. So, as mentioned before, I've got a GoPro. Now it's not Hero 6 Black, it's 5 actually. This is just a box, the user sold me his 5 and uh, he bought a 6, so I just asked him for the box that he first one throw away. So, now let's get into the uh, GoPro itself. Now. I only asked for the box because of this stand, which is pretty uh, useful for uh, as a stand. Now, let me get to the camera real quick. All right, before I was using this for my phone. So you stick it to the window, you stick your phone, uh, it has this head, but the problem is the weight. If it's too heavy, it falls down, and when the car is shaking, uh, the phone slowly starts uh, it's heavy so it turns this and the camera is not capturing me and I have a tripod which I'm gonna show you when the, I turn on the GoPro now this is the new thing I got for the GoPro excuse me it's more stable so um, hopefully this is going to uh, be fixed and not shake the GoPro now I also for the same price of a GoPro Hero 5 in retail I've got this used one, it was used only once, I have a receipt, I've got for free uh, this floating thing you can be used as a selfie stick uh, for floating for the summer, I've got this strap, now this is a head strap, so we're gonna have some uh, point of view videos, uh, I also got a free selfie stick, I already have one, but uh, it doesn't hurt I'm gonna give it to someone maybe and I have this other mounts they're a bit different now here's the attachment for the uh, suction cup and let me see what else do I got here so these are all the attachments plus this one I believe these are for some sort of keys or I don't know some other uh, stuff and uh, the most important, well, one of the important one, as you can see, uh, this is this thing. So this is something you put on your chest, and you can also make a video from a chest point of view. So these are the things I'm gonna be using now. Uh, forget all of this. I have an SD card here, and I'm gonna remove the GoPro and just do a quick review. I'm doing this in the car, but hope I won't lose all the pieces. Just to remove the camera from the mount. Now there's there's this rubber. The camera is waterproof, so you squeeze here, you push it out, and you can remove it from this. Now the camera has this protective case. I'm gonna set this aside. Put this in the back so I don't lose it. Now, the camera has this, this piece, also I'm gonna just remove it for now. Now the camera has this frame, it is waterproof without it as well, you can go above 10 meters depth. Now, I'm not aware of all the function functionalities still, but there is a mods option for a lot of qualities, different materials, um, I mean different ways of sh shot or video or time lapse. There is um, shot here, mods, turn it off, turn it off. And this has a 4K quality. 
and this has voice commands it's a lot easier and safer for me to leave the camera just say GoPro start recording or GoPro stop recording now it's not on I haven't figured it yet but just to show you guys this thing removes I don't like how it feels it feels like I'm damaging it but I'm apparently not so this can go out now this is the frame right up on the side this is the camera nice looking you have a touch screen as well now over here you have a USB-C for charging and mini HDMI it's sealed so the water doesn't get in and over here you have a battery that can be removed just to show you this is and over here the as is the place where the SD card goes so I'm gonna put this SD card inside really quick nice and easy I believe this is the side it goes to now I'm gonna put the battery now this is the battery this is how it looks plus and minus has a GoPro logo on it nope the other side push it back in you have to probably watch for this to cover good now this has three microphones I believe that uh, cancel the noise and select the best audio for you you have here an indicator when it's on and it should be one here now let's try turning it on actually now I'm gonna put it back into the into the case just so I don't have to play with it later. Now this is the way. Nope. This this is the way it goes in. So do this and you clip it. Now this sounds doesn't I don't like this feeling, but it's hard it, it keeps it um, shut so let's try turning it on hold this mode button hi guys okay so it is now recording so it is set to 60 frames per second um, I'm gonna put it into 4k 180p 60 frames per second that'd be awesome now the camera you can connect to it through Wi-Fi as you can see you have a battery here you have modes um, I'm not sure if it's taking pictures right now now you can here see information 180 60 you have here 9 I'm not sure if this is the time you have on your SD card I haven't cleared my SD card but a video video photo loop now there's a video options you have here photo night burst and you have a time-lapse videos which is pretty cool now there is a setup uh, you can enter uh, when you get a new camera I'll have to find it now I'm not sure how do I exit this okay just press the mode button now there is also something over here See, when you press on it, the menu disappears or it comes back on. Now I'm going to see 60 frames per second. Let's leave that. But I want to go to 4K resolution. Okay, I'm going to keep it on 4K. I'm gonna leave it on oh so it, it is grayed out the white one it has 30 frames per second just like my phone so I'm gonna leave it on that and now there are some other options here I'm not gonna get into them okay so I think I just press record and is now recording this is just so it stopped I really need to play with this and see uh, the video.
I'm going to press once again. I don't know if I've um, interrupted it, but I'm going to bring it at me. Now, this is my phone and my, um, I, you can see, tripod. These are magnets, and it can be adjusted. Now, I usually put my phone in here, and it gets in this frame when I'm driving. This is just for the Skoda Octavia, guys. So, uh, I'm going to end the video over here on my phone. And I'm going to put this inside as well. I'm going to end it here. So it's saving, it's on, hold for. Actually, I'm not going to turn it off. I'm just going to try. Oh, it did turn off. I'm just going to try for you guys to end this video trying to use voice commands. GoPro, start recording. Okay, there's obviously not set up. Now, I'm going to try now because I haven't went into the menu and figured it out yet because I just got it. GoPro, start recording. As you can see, it's recording. GoPro, stop recording. It works fabulously. This is perfect for my videos, for my safety what I'm driving and recording for you guys. So guys, this is it. This is the fast review of the GoPro. I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, share it, comment below, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.